What up, guys? Today I have a new statue for you. This is basically a two-headed Egyptian snake statue. I'm actually really happy how it turned out. And I think my favorite part about it is like there's really no tutorial for something quite like this. There was a like a really good snake statue tutorial already that I saw, but but not a two-headed one, okay? And certainly not like an Egyptian styled like with like the pharaoh crown and everything. So here it is. It's a pretty good look at it. And don't worry about, like, I'll get over, like, the whole setup and everything. You don't have to worry about just color coding and stuff. Like, that's mostly just for me to be able to replicate the body easily. And this is all, like, the blocks we'll be using. I counted out, mo like, mostly everything except for the sandstone, okay? For the sandstone, just have a lot. There's, there's going to be several stacks of sandstone you'll need. But for smooth sandstone, you'll need 27, 72 smooth sandstone stairs, 18 sandstone slab, 113 sandstone stairs, 292 blocks of gold. I'll go over some, a little bit more of that in a minute. 120 lapis lazuli, 2 black concrete, those are your eyeballs, 70 cut sandstone slab, 1 block of emerald, 1 block of redstone, 5 glowstone, and 6 block of iron. And say like you're on survival and stuff and you're like, oh my goodness, there's just no way I'm getting 292 blocks of gold. Then I suggest maybe substituting with yellow concrete, you can also use white concrete and personally like if I had to substitute I would go with the white concrete I really like the white and the lapis together but say you are able to get a little bit of gold then I would suggest at least like using this gold for, like this kind of necklace right here this little yellow gold necklace outline and I think that pretty much covers it for the materials and this color coding like I don't know if you if you want to copy it I'll kind of go over it right here for you maybe if you want to pause it but I will be going through it with you. And just basically, I just have like a countdown system. Just gray concrete equals 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. Um, so to kind of go over this platform area a little bit. This overall, like, like the width of this thing is 25. And it's 40 blocks long. And I mostly just use it to help kind of place things. Like, you don't have to have the platform if you don't want to. And some of these like brick stone, that's just for placement as well. So you can ignore that. I'm just gonna say one more thing before we actually get to building. Basically everything I have in my inventory right now is what we'll need to make all of it. Like there will be a couple blocks we'll just up to, like the iron, the emerald, the redstone, and the concrete, but this will get us through most of the build. So smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, sandstone, sandstone slab, sandstone stairs, cut sandstone slab, Lapis Lazuli block, block of gold, and glowstone. And so if you are happy to like use like this platform system I have going, we'll be starting the build seven blocks in and one in as well. So starting here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now on the seventh block, we'll put a sandstone, an upside down sandstone stair just like that behind it. And we'll do five of these. So one, two three four five and then we're gonna do another row upside down like this and five again and I actually do like if you want like this is just a little detail doesn't really matter much to do like one of those corner stairs like that and then after we have our two rows of upside down we'll do our row of block of gold basically with the glowstone in the middle and then we'll do smooth sandstone row on top like that and then we're with our smooth sandstone stairs again, we're gonna go upside down and forward. And we're gonna do five of those. And then we're gonna do another row of gold block and glowstone. So just give you a side look at it. And then we're gonna do two rows of smooth sandstone on top of this one though. Like that. And we'll put a smooth sandstone stair like that and like that. And then we're going to do a row of sand, smooth sandstone stairs on top of this. Here we go. I'll give you a side angle as well. And then we're going to, like, staying centered, we're going to put a glowstone in the middle, like one up above these stairs, and two gold blocks on either side. And then coming, like, out one and up, we're going to put a gold block. So to get it like that, and then we're going to do two more just going upward, like that. 
All right, there we go. And then we can also fill in um, with just regular sandstone, just directly parallel with those gold blocks. And then we can do it again. And then this part will mostly be flat like this. So two rows of just regular sandstone. And then just with these three, we're going to make it six long total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's like, that's mostly like the chest and like the front neck. And now we're going to get to working on the face and then we'll kind of build out the crown more. I guess we actually need to do the, the side neck as well. So for this first part, we're going to grab a, where is it? Smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to go out four with it. So one, two, three, four, and then another four. One, two, three, four. And then these last two, we're gonna go up five with it. One, two, three, four, f f five. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five. So, and like the last two are exactly like parallel with each other. So starting from the top, five rows, five row, four, and then four. So we're going to replicate over here, one, two, three, four, and then another row of four, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. And here's like a front look at it, if you need it. So the next thing we're going to do is just outline the neck and the chest with sandstone and sandstone stairs. So starting at the top right, we'll place a sandstone stair parallel with these. And then behind it, we'll place a block and we'll place two above that or just like three blocks total. And then we'll place another parallel stair and one more. And there's the last one. So you should have four stairs just parallel with these. And then with this gap on the inner part, we're going to place a smooth sandstone block like right underneath this stair and then a sandstone block underneath this stair. And then underneath the smooth sandstone, We'll place three sandstone blocks like that. And then we can also come down three with it. So one, two, three. Oh, that's spooky. And then with this gap, we can fill it in like this. So starting with this uh, upside down stair, just one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. So like that. And over here, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then we'll, we'll bring down this side as well. We'll do this side right now. So we have our sandstone stair and then one, two, three. And then a parallel stair, a parallel stair, and one more, so four parallel stairs. And then you put a sand, smooth sandstone underneath in the inner gap and then a sandstone in this outer gap. And then you put three sandstone like that, and the first one comes underneath that smooth sandstone you just placed. And then you put three downwards from this, from the last sandstone block you placed, like that. So right now we're we're completely parallel, and we'll finish outlining this part a little bit. So we put a sandstone stair there, and then you know like from like the left one and then back one, so just like a little diagonal corner like that. We'll go up two and then up three like that so two and then three and it should connect to the stair whoa a little lag right there and then with our sandstone stair we'll do the same side so one just like that like one behind the smooth sandstone and then we'll go up two and then starting here we'll go one two three and then really if we want as well starting here it's so like a line like with this gold block we can just fill this in a total of, uh, if we want to count, so starting here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. And we can just fill this all in. So total of seven starting here, or if you want to count it from here, one, two, three, four, and then it goes up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, however you want to do it. So we'll do the same thing on this other side. So starting here, so one, two, three, four, and then we'll fill it up six. One, two, three, four, five, six, or in line with this gold block right here, and we can fill that in. So there we go. And now we'll build out the heads and like finish up the front of the neck. 
And I'm thinking I'll build out like one head first and then build out the other just so we don't have to keep going back and forth. So with our gold block, starting with this first sandstone, we're just going to do the necklace. So two gold blocks, glowstone, two gold blocks. And then with regular sandstone, just two like that. And then over top this row, we're going to get our smooth sandstone and just do five right on top. And then we'll do stairs facing like this, like upside down stairs right in front like that. And then what we're going to want to do is put five sandstone like this parallel, but a gap, but filling in this gap with regular sandstone stairs, some upside down ones like that. So that's what it looks like. And then with this block, so starting here, we're going to go re like bring it out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can fill all this in with our sandstone. And then starting at the block, so not the stair, but the first row of blocks, we're going to use our cut sandstone slab and just completely fill underneath here with slabs. Here we go. Just completely flat like this. And then starting at, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like this first sandstone stair, we're just going to build it out three and then another three on top. So over here, one, two, three, starting like with this, and then another three on top. And then uh, um, here, we're gonna build out this necklace real quick, just so then we can be done with our glowstone. So starting here, just one, two, put one glowstone, one, two, and then our two sandstone like that. And now we're done with our glowstone, so we can get our black concrete for the eyeballs. And the black concrete, we'll just fill in this first gap like that. And then we're going to put two um, regular sandstone slabs like that. And then we can fill in this gap with regular sandstone. And now to finish this up, we're going to start the front like the, of the mouth. And we're going to put three sandstone like that. And then we're going to skip this corner and put a sandstone. Skip that corner, put a sandstone. And then put a block and put a block. And now this row... We'll have three sandstone, and this will be another three, but we're going to put sandstone slabs like that on top. And then the rest of this can just be flat, like with this row of, like all of these blocks right here. We can fill in the rest of this. Oh, there we go. That's one head done, and now we'll do the other head. So we'll do the smooth sandstone again. And then smooth sandstone stairs upside down like this. It's all parallel with the neck. And then we'll do our row of regular sandstone with a gap in between. And then the upside down stairs connecting them. Like that. And then we go out seven again. One. And starting at the block and not the stair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we fill all this in. And same thing with the slabs. So our cut sandstone slabs starting at the first row of blocks. We'll just completely cover the underneath of it. And then starting at the stair, we'll put a sandstone block. And then two more so for a total of three. One, two, three. And then a black concrete and a black on concrete eyeball. And we can also raise this another three. And we put a sandstone slab there, a sandstone slab out front, and then a block to fill that in. And now we come to the front of the snake again with our regular sandstone slabs. We'll put three, skip the corner and put one, and then a regular block to fill in that gap, and a regular block to fill in that gap. And then we'll put three, and then another three, but put slabs on the top of those three. And then we'll fill in the rest of it with this highest point of sandstone block we have so far. So now we have both heads done and we'll kind of work more on the crown and like a little bit more of the neck. And before we actually get started, we can switch out our black concrete and our cut sandstone slab and we'll need our iron. And since we're doing the right side of the snake, we'll need our redstone block. There we go. 
So starting at this stair right here, parallel like with all these smooth sandstone stairs, we'll put a gold block just like that. And we'll bring it up five total. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then starting one from the top, we're going to go down one and put two just like that. And two just like that. And then this lines us up with our blue lapis. And we'll put a row here. And then we'll do like a gold triangle on the top of it. And this row filled with iron. And that filled with our redstone. And then we can connect the gold block and just bring it back one like that. And now the best way to kind of describe this next shape, like the top of the crown, we're just going to do like a series of rectangles. So we have our first three there. And then it kind of just shapes up with this corner that we have here. So we have another rectangle, but it just goes out one on each side. And then we're going to do it one more time. Just like that. So you have rectangle here with that square block on top. Then you have another rectangle and another rectangle. And every two, it just extends. So now that we have that, we can bring this in. And then we're actually going to keep this corner and bring it around like that. So we'll do this and then bring it out. And then for this back part, we are going to cut off the corner. But we'll finish lining it up just like that. And at the very center, we're going to bring it out three blocks. So one and then one on each side or three total at the center. And now we can do our first row of lapis. So it starts here, we do one and then bring it out. So one blue lapis underneath and that comes out. And then we'll outline it here, cut off the corner. And then these, we're not actually gonna go around, we'll just put them right underneath just like that. And then cut off the corner, finish here. And then we put the one blue lapis just underneath it. And now to build out like the back of it a tiny bit more, we'll have a, you don't have to have these three gold blocks underneath it, but we'll have three here again. Oh, uh, like, wow, how do I keep putting in the middle? There, just like that. And then we'll have uh, two blocks right here. And then we'll finish just putting gold blocks directly underneath all these lapis. And we'll go to this side. So really the only gold blacks that aren't directly underneath like the blue lapis is these three right here. And then we're going to put a, a row like this here. I'm trying to save you blocks like it'd be like that. So you have technically if you want you could fill it in but you don't have to have this middle one behind it. So there you go if I'm trying to save you blocks. And you put another one so this is the look of it right now. And then we'll go back to going underneath, directly underneath these gold blocks again. And we'll go back over here. Directly underneath. Like that. And now, we'll put gold blocks just like that. And then we'll go directly underneath again. All the lapis. Like that. And then all of these next ones are just going to be directly underneath. So this whole, oh, there we go. I was wondering what was blocking me. Just like that underneath and over here underneath. And then we're going to do a row of gold underneath. Like that. Finish the gold underneath. And it's going to change up just a tiny bit right here. Starting with this most inner gold, we'll put one underneath it. And then three like that. So these three are like right directly underneath these three. But then we'll go back to just completely outlining it again. But these uh, back three will we'll actually switch to lapis. But then back to gold over here. And like I said, uh, what's... Oh man. I have to get underneath here. Here we go. So this one will be directly and then you'll fill it in like that and this is what it should look like from this side and then to finish up the 
actual back of it. We'll just do three here. So three and then one and one off to the side. And that will finish up the first crown. And now I think we should just do the second crown and then we'll build out the next of it. We don't need our redstone either. And we can switch to our emerald. And we'll kind of do like a, we'll similarly build it how we did over here. So starting with this stair, we'll put a gold block and then up five. One, two, three, four, five. And over here, parallel with this first stair, one, two, three, four, five, and then build it out two like that. And two over here. And then this lines us up for our blue lapis, like that. And then we do our triangle again. So three iron, gold, and then emerald, and gold on top. Very nice. And then we can fill this gap in like that and this gap like here and then we're going to do our rectangle again so there's our first one and then it comes out on both sides but still like a width of two and then it comes out again with a width of two there we go and now from here we'll actually keep this corner this is one of the few times we keep the corner and keep the corner but this corner we don't keep and we can fill it like that. And then also from the center, it comes out an additional three, just like that. And now we'll do a row of blue lapis and it'll come out like this, but then these three are underneath the back of the gold and then comes out two. And then we're gonna outline it, but keeping no corners. But this last one does tuck in underneath the gold. Um, let's, let's do the other side. So here we go, cutting off the corners. But this last one comes in. And then we'll do a row of gold blocks directly underneath for the most part. So we'll do two, and then it'll come out three like that. But then we can go back underneath it directly. And then the blue lapis will just come out one so if you want to save yourself, you can break that middle one and we'll just do it like that. And then it comes out and comes out and then we go back to being directly underneath. Like that. There we go. So here's what it looks so far. And then we'll do some gold blocks underneath it. I'm trying to save you some blocks. So we'll do it just like that. And then the gold will finish going underneath all of these, directly underneath them. There we go. And then we'll do another row of lapis directly underneath all of these. And this row is like completely like directly, like there's no like budging outwards or anything. And then we'll do another row of gold. And we'll finish off over here, directly underneath. And then we'll put our three blue lapis here, but then the rest of it's gold. But right here, these last three are underneath it. And it'll come to like that. So over here again, our gold, and then we'll have to do it from the inside. And it's just one, two, three like that. And it'll give you what it looks a look at it from this side that's what it looks like so now I think we we have the crowns done I believe oh wait I lied we just have to do one gold there three gold and one gold there we go now we're done and now we'll I think build out the neck so the neck is probably the most challenging part of this build so I am gonna go a little bit slower but you'll see it really isn't that bad so right here with our regular sandstone we're just gonna fill this in with five stairs nicely like that and then in these gaps, we're going to put an upside down stair that looks like that. And then you'll notice we have a gap with this stair. So we're going to put a sandstone block behind it and then bring it two more down. So a total of three sandstone blocks. So same thing over here, fill the gap and then down two. And then on these outer stairs, like right here, we're going to bring it down two. And then we can do this. 
and put stairs on top. So it comes down nicely like that. And then we're just going to outline this whole thing but cutting off the corners. So we have two diagonal, then three, then two diagonal, just like that. And then we'll bring it down one more. And this is what it looks like. And now we're going to start going around the neck. So first we'll fill in this gap right here with sandstone. And this gap as well. And then with an upside down sandstone, you'll place the first one underneath this gold block. And we're going to come across five with it. And you know it's like placed right because it should be like directly underneath like these three or not directly underneath but like one behind it or in front of it what's however you look whatever direction you're facing it should look like this for a total of five stairs and then once we get five we're just gonna round this corner and bring it all the way until we're one block away and we'll just put a sandstone block there and then this gap above it we'll put a sandstone block directly behind this stair and then bring it till we get one gap and then we'll put an upside down stair so we'll do the same thing for the other head. So here we go again, we have this filled in and our one upside down stair behind it, but also below this gold block. And then for a total of five, so two, three, four, five. And then we round it, one, two, three, four, five. But we stop at the gap, put a sandstone block. And then here we put in all sandstone blocks Except for this back corner one, we'll put an upside down one like that. And then from here, we're going to bring it down again, like that. So directly underneath this first one. And then we're going gonna to round it again. Very nicely like that. Until we have a gap and we'll fill it in with a sandstone block. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Directly underneath this first one. Bring it around so it should be four. And then, oh, there we go. And then stop till you get to this gap. Fill it in. So there we go. So from here, we're going to come back over to here and just round about. There we go. And round it again. And right here, we'll leave that gap and fill this in. And it should be a total of four stairs. And then this part, we can just fill in this whole gap with sandstone. Like that. So we'll do this other side. So starting with our regular sandstone directly underneath this set of stairs, we'll just fill it around until you get to like this stop of stairs. And then we'll go around again. And then we'll skip this block. So it's just still just these stairs to just keep kind of going underneath each other. And we're going to go for a total of four. And then just fill this in with blocks like that. And we can go to three there. And now, really, I think we're just ready to do the... Um, the body of it. I think we got all the neck done. Just double checking everything and to give you a look around it. So now that we're on the body, like I said, don't worry about the color coding. Like that was just mostly for me. I'll still be like counting and stuff and like I'll do all the angles for you. So I'll be building this whole thing with you. But if you notice, like this dark gray that we have here. Like that was supposed to be nine tall and that's actually what these are right here. So these are all nine tall. So to build out the green, we have these four sandstone. We'll skip two and then we'll place two blocks and it should come up a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at that, it connects nicely and we'll bring this in. And now I'll kind of just outline this with you. We'll just do all the dark green. So from here, it'll come in one. And then it'll come down one, two, three, four, and then to the left, and then down, and then left one, and we'll build another one, two, three, four blocks. And then right here it's five wide, so counting this one, 
two, three, four, five. And then we'll come in one, two, three, four, five. And then to the right. And then forward again. And back towards us. Forward again. Back towards us. Forward again. Back towards us. And then up three. One, two, three. And right here, so you have these three, you'll place one in the middle of them. And here's an up, like here's just an up view of it if you need it. And then all of these blocks too will just start to fill in. So here we go. We'll fill in the outline. All the way up. And these are all seven tall. And it's all sandstone as well. I was thinking of like how I could try to texture this better, but like the sandstone itself kind of gives us the, the scaliness that we're looking for already. And for the rest of this, like I was thinking about skipping parts, but I am just gonna, just gonna do this with you. So hopefully there's no confusion. There we go, almost seven everywhere. And then this gap that we have right here, we'll just fill it in like with this. So we have like the four and then we'll bring it in until we fill up the gap. And then all this space that we have here, we'll just fill in nicely like this. And then these right here, we can also replace with stairs. Now we're basically just gonna be doing like a lot of edging with it, and these are all gonna be six tall. So starting at this first corner, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another diagonal, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and this should have been seven right here, my bad. And then on the other side of this seven pillar, we're gonna bring it up six, but just another two. So here we go, and we're gonna bring up six, or basically, one short of this, and then a diagonal for six, another diagonal for six, and then a diagonal, but then it comes down one as well. And then it comes in, and we're keeping the corner for six. And then with this gap, we should place another four. So one, two, three, four, and we'll bring it up for six. Let's see what we got on the other side. And for this gap, so we have this, we, we have these two right here and we'll just bring it in to like that and we'll fill it in. There we go. And then starting, so we have these two up front, just to the, on the left side, we'll bring it up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll just do like the sixes first and then we'll worry about the others. So with this nice three gap we have right here, we'll bring it up six. Or basically just one short of the, the layer next to it. And then this corner, we'll put six. And then we'll do a direct diagonal from this one. And then after you place this, you should come out another six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then we'll come up and we'll do the six total. So right here, it's six high and six long for this portion right here. And then once we get back to this side, we have the one, two, three, four, and then we'll do an inward diagonal and it'll just come in uh, three total and then a diagonal and then another diagonal for two like that. And then this should, once you have these, it should come in four or five total. So counting this one, two, three, four, five, and then one behind it and then two diagonals to connect it. And these are all six tall. And I'm trying to do this in a way that saves you blocks. So like if you don't want like all these hollows, like maybe you're afraid of like monsters appearing in there, then maybe you want to fill it in or you can put torches or maybe you can keep it hollow and you can kind of make a room out of this. Didn't even think about that actually making this into like a whole room house or something. And then these last ones we'll replace with stairs. So just one, two, three, four, five, like that. 
and now we'll come to this left side. So you'll see we have this like one sticking forward, this one sticking forward, and then four behind it. So we have this four gap. So this first left or side is going to have a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this remaining gap will go up four. So these, we put in those three and then it goes up four total. One, two, three, four, and we'll fill it in. And then right here, so in this corner that we have, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six long. And the furthest right two, we're just going to go up three with it. So one, two, three. And then we have this three, and then we're going to come out for a total of six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it'll come up five. So one, two, three, three, four, five, and here we go. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And starting on the left, we're going to skip the first one. And we're going to place three, and it'll come up three, like that. And we'll keep working our way around. So if we have everything similar, we should have two gaps. We should have, I mean, like two blocks. And this will go up five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we go diagonal again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have this two wall again. And we'll just place two like that. And it should go up five. One, two, three, four, five and five and we'll come back to this side so if everything looks similar we should have this like four and then three and one and inside this three gap we're going to raise it up five there we go and then we have this corner we're going to bring it up five and then we have these so we have three total now but on the further left two we'll bring it up five And then we'll go on the left again. So we have these, so we should have like one block and then two. And then on the right side, we'll put one in front and one to the right. And the red is up two, or up three, the red's up three. So there we go, three. And pink means two, so we'll do two there. So you have the two, and then the third one right next to it, we'll just go up two. And then the orange is up four. So you have, here we'll switch to this side. So you should have two here, and then it'll go up four like that. And then with, you should have two blocks, and then a gap or a diagonal will go up four. And then right here, we should have this diagonal again, and we're gonna go three blocks, and it'll go up four. And we'll go over here again. So right now we have two blocks that are five tall, and we'll put an additional two next to it, but it'll only go up to four, like that. And we'll put a diagonal for four. And right here, so we have one block, we'll go diagonal, but we'll place three. And it'll go up four. Now almost, like, everything that we have inside, we're basically just gonna fill in at this height right here. And we'll, we'll actually replace these with uh, regular sandstone stairs like that. So there we go. So now we should have a gap of uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll fill it in for a total of four high. So here's where we're at so far. And now we we'll go to this corner. So we should have a diagonal and we should have three blocks and we're gonna raise this up an additional three like that. And then we just skip this first row of blocks and then put two. And we're gonna go up three and then we're gonna make a diagonal for three. And then we'll put another diagonal for two, another for two, and another one, and another one, and another one. So for a total of so you have a three diagonal and then a two. So one, two, three, four. So four diagonals of two high. And then two high, but it's just gonna be two flat like this. But then one diagonal of two like that. And then almost, so we have a diagonal here, diagonal here. So we're gonna skip these first two. And then we're gonna go up three with it. And up three, and up three again, 
and then filling in this gap we'll bring it up three again and then for the rest of this we'll kind of start to fill it in but we'll actually we'll do the outline then fill it in i feel like that's a little easier to visualize so right here we should have three blocks we're going to go diagonal for four diagonal for four again and then we can place two or here we'll do the outline so we can just do a diagonal so three diagonals in a row like that and then we can come back in for two and this is still at a height of four and then you should have three here so you have two and then three and we'll bring it up and you have well we can just finish the diagonal so to kind of go over it again you have four diagonals of two and then two and then two diagonals and then three flat and now we can fill all this in at the height of uh, like this or my bad this should all be one two three four. Oh yeah I was right here we go so if there is oh like that there we go I just need to you know, follow the color coding I got I'm making this harder on myself there we go so any gaps you just come down with it then so now we just got like the last half of it so if it looks like this so you have diagonal diagonal and then next to this one we'll bring it up two and then we'll put uh, I lied actually it's three the red is three there <laughs> I've screwed everything up there we go so that's one bring this down and this is four and a train so that's what it should look like and if I did like mess that up a little bit like don't even worry about it like it'll still look fine however you have it but once you get to here we'll put two and then one so that's where it's weird like I did have it right the first time so that's two and then we're gonna start outlining this purple and this is all one blocks so you have the little descending staircase and then you'll skip this corner and put two and then the next red that comes up all right here we'll finish the purple so then we can kind of fill it in so then we have we skip over two and then go down one and then we skip this corner place four and then a diagonal and a diagonal and then if we go up and then skip two like that so it should be like three basically missing or two if you're considered diagonal and then over here we have this one we'll place two diagonal of it and another two diagonal of it and then say we'll say like we're skipping a diagonal so you should have two without this one and then two kind of parallel with it and then another two to almost finish like a square almost and then we make a square underneath it to like the left of it and then I don't know whatever symbol you want to call this and then right here we'll put a stair and a block and then this is all gonna be two but here we'll, we'll fill out this right side to finish out the purple so we have two platforms and then a purple that comes in or basically three away at this gap and then two and one and then that's finishes it for the purple so we'll do the red so the red right here is three tall so you should have a gap here just make it up three and then we'll just start filling it in and right here so you have this kind of back of this uh i don't know like the side of the tail basically like the far leftist side is basically what i'm trying to say so you have four blocks and then you'll raise it two in the corners and then the rest of this we'll just fill in for four or i mean three sorry three blocks and then this is will all be four three so four blocks but three tall <laughs> oh my goodness and we can fill all this in to be three tall just connect it and like i said it doesn't exactly matter if you don't get the exact thing that i have you just try to make it descending here and there and now from here everything else is just going to be two and before we do we have these four we're going to just replace with stairs like that and now we'll do our two blocks 
So from here, it goes over two, and then you skip your corner, two, and then one diagonal, and then three. And then you have this last gap, just fill it in for two. So from here, we'll just make everything else cover on top for two. And there we go. Or actually, I'm thinking we'll, we'll put stairs here. And that is the end of another tutorial. Let me know what you thought of the video, because I definitely tried like a slightly different format with like the color schemes. That was my first time trying something like that. So let me, let me know what you thought, like was that easy to follow? And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out some of my other Egyptian tutorials.